Ricky here. So today we're gonna show you how to do the jump rope, how to do it like fighters do, and also some drills you can do to have a better cardio and improve on your footwork. So it will be AC that will show you how to do it. He's been practicing lately, so let's get it. Hey guys, AC here. So let's get right into how to skip rope. So uh, the idea here is to have a rope that is long enough for you so the way you want to do it is this you put your foot in the middle of the rope and you put the two handles above your underarms so that's the perfect length for you if you're smaller you need a shorter rope if you're taller you need a longer rope but that's the ideal length for you now that you have the rope at the perfect length let's start with how to actually jump so the idea and something that a lot of people do wrong at first is the jumping itself so you need to do one hop per turn of the rope a lot of people you will see they will do two hops or even more on a turn that way it limits you in the speed of the rope okay so you need to do one jump per turn that is very important that is the key to jumping like a fighter now that you got the one jump per turn Okay, you will be able to increase and decrease the speed of which you do the rope. So that way you'll be able to practice your pacing in a fight, it's very important. And also your footwork. Now speaking of footwork, you will often see boxers jump rope differently than what we just said. We call it the boxer way, the boxer jumps, the boxer way of skipping the rope. They won't do just one hop per jump, one hop per turn of the rope. They will throttle a bit of each foot a little jump on each foot you know a bit one left one right and they will hop barely you won't see them do like crazy jumps on their foot rope on their skip rope so that way they will practice the footwork even more than they did with the single hop per turn so that's the first trick you will learn next you got the high knees so it's like high knees without the rope you know when you run you can do high knees or on place but this time you will do it with the rope it has the same benefits as uh, doing regular high knees, but this time you have the rope turning. So it will practice your footwork, cardio, and a bit of uh, synchronization, a bit of timing. Now for the next trick, there's something you can add to the high knees is cross. So what you do, you jump and you cross the rope, okay? You, you cross your arms, that way the rope will cross and that will make the high knees even harder than they were before. And now for the final trick I will mention today is double jumping. So, you know, I said one jump per turn of the rope that you now you will do one jump, but it will be two or even three turns of the rope. This is one of the hardest. It's a lot of cardio. It's a lot of energy. It's a lot of timing. And what's even harder than that is doing them back to back. So you do one double rope, one double rope, one double rope, back to back. That will fry you, okay? It will burn your cardio, but that's the idea. You can do those when you're about to finish your workout with the rope. All right, guys, so now let's talk about the type of ropes you can buy. So me here, I have a bit of a middle in between. So with those, it's pretty thick PVC rope. I can go fast, I can go slower too, and the rope is heavier. You have also a thing called speed rope. So this is one that goes very fast. It's often used by CrossFit people. And you also have big ropes. They look like battle ropes and those are heavier but slower. So that's it for the video guys. I hope you like it. Now you know everything about how to skipping rope like a fighter and it's your turn to do the job. PV out. AC out.